Drake and Kanye have convinced themselves that they're in a rap beef when it's really, uh, oh, the, uh, the uncles, the oldest uncles of the family are fighting again over some argument they never settled 25 years ago. <laughs> but and this one was really, really strange, honestly, and kind of dark. So, I mean, like, I, I followed it all online yesterday, so I can jump into it. How Essentially... Hot off the release of Certified Lover Boy, um, Drake was kind of feeling himself. It broke pretty much every streaming record on every mm-hmm. streaming platform on Friday. Was the mo- and well at time of recording is the most streamed album ever on Apple Music, on Spotify, on Tidal, anything, all of the above. And again, it's not necessarily because Drake is good, but like Drake's a cultural figure and people want to listen to it to have an opinion on it um you should rate the number of people who like kept listening to songs or listened to the album all the way through who weren't music critics i mean that's a different story but um basically drake went on to have leaked an unreleased donda track so Mm -hmm. talk about some reconnaissance here um drake had an unreleased uh, kanye track and also to be fair it's pretty easy to get unreleased kanye tracks (laughs) these shits get leaked all the time um but drake was guest hosting a session of sound 42 on sirius xm saturday morning they play a ton of um october's very own drake's labels um affiliated tunes and drake announced that he'd be hopping on around 2 a.m to mix a few of his own selected tracks for his listeners and then he threw on a song um called life of the party which was a kanye west track intended for donda featuring outcast's own andre 3000 yep and again like this is the folks who were coming onto the donda project were meant to be talking about okay this is kind of in a loose kanye west way meant to be a tribute to his um late mother and so Andre 3000 came onto the verse talking about his late mother. It's kind of like a soul beat. Um, and it's really heartfelt and well done. Like uh, a lot of people were saying online, like if the Andre 3000 um, feature was on Donda, it would have been probably the best feature on there. And not to say because like Andre 3000 is just like one of the best contemporary musicians of our time, but um, it, it, it was a pretty good track. Yeah, I mean, 103,000 goes hard. We all know that. Um, but it's just, it, it's funny how he wanted to do, like Drake wanted to do this to to kind of clown on Kanye and it just went absolutely ass backwards because everybody liked the track, both of us included. Yeah, the um, in, in the song, Kanye jumps on it and takes like, some lyrics and t- like he takes some shots at drake saying mm-hmm. i put virgil on drake in the same text and it wasn't about matching the arse art or cutty kid cutty's dress just told these grown men stop with the funny shit etc etc blah 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 um but this story gets so much deeper because andre 3000 spoke out on like hey man <laughs> and, and it was it was a really like good um like kind of statement that I want to get to. So he says, and I'm reading now, a few weeks ago, Kanye reached out about me being part of the Donda album. I was inspired by his idea to make an album, uh, to make a musical tribute to his mom. And it felt appropriate to me to support the Donda concept by referencing my own mother who passed away in 2013. We both share that loss. I thought it was a beautiful choice to make a clean album, but unfortunately I didn't know that was the plan before I wrote and recorded my verse. It was clear to me that an edited clean format of the verse would not work without having the raw original also available. So sadly it had to be um, omitted from the original album's release. So that part right there is kind of like more of like an editing note about the um, verse itself because like what um, Kanye had was like, and what Drake had was a leaked unfinished version, but more referencing like the stuff that was said and kind of the existence of it itself. The track I, continuing from Andre 3000's statement, quote, the track I received and wrote to didn't have the diss verse on it and we were hoping to make a more focused offering for the Donda album, but I guess things happen like they're supposed to. It's unfortunate that it was released in this way and two artists that I love are going back and forth. I wanted to be on Certified Lover Boy too. I just want to work with people that inspire me. Hopefully I can work with Kendrick on his album. I'd love to work with Lil Baby, Tyler, and Jay-Z. I respect them all. End quote. King speaks. And so, yeah, that's Andre 3000 going, listen, I'm not taking sides in this. And I, I, 
I was told that this was just going to be an album about Kanye's late mother and about like yep. that loss. So I'm going to chop on a song and talk about that, which a lot of the collaborators seem to do. Yep. Then you have Marilyn Manson and the baby there for some weird reason, but like, hey, whatever we report, you decide. Um, and, and then, yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying, like the song gets dis, I was like, the song gets edited to include this diss track, and then ends yep. up in Kanye's hands, and uh, I'm sorry, in Drake's hands, and that's where we are today, in the middle of this geriatric ass beef. It's beautiful. Two uncle rappers going at each other's throats, kind of. More like, more like they're, you know, you know back in like in, um, junior high, how they say um, you're going to get body or something, you know, get uh, whatever you go have some like random beat dudes who are probably, who are all probably overdosed on, on heroin or some shit by now. But they always go to the bathroom and just like try to fight. But it's like the worst fighting you've ever seen where they're just like, oh, dear, dear. That's yeah, it's what like all, 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 yeah, like all of the fighting of like, uh, large clothes dryer at the lum- laundromat on tumble dry just like trying to shake itself like duh, 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 duh. <laughs> um just yeah gonna go like this the whole time yeah I-, I think something i said about this was like this rap beef has fewer bars than prohibition like it's just it, it's <laughs> there's no there's no passion in this rap beef there's no panache no. this is where's where's the panache no but really like there's I'm not supposed to feel any fight in Kanye West or Drake's story. Like their beef is two successful people beefing about some stuff that is not really relatable. doesn't have to do with family or relationships. It's just, you know, slight reputational things that this is America. People have already made their opinions on the reputational stuff anyway. So, um, overall just really mid tier beef. And I'm glad that Andre 3000, managed to take the high road out of that and, you know, like express himself like in the right way and say like, listen, I want to work with anyone and everyone. I am in it for the love of the game, truly. Um, and so, yeah, God bless. And I would like, like you were saying, Sean, earlier, I would love to see some of those other future collabs. Um, I, I've now this year, I've turned around to Lil Baby. I will definitely give Lil Baby more of a chance. Um, but also I'd love to see uh, Kendrick and Andre 3000, Young Thug and Andre 3000, et cetera. That'd be great. Tyler Young, Andre 3000 would go hard, yeah. Mochi's Gooch and Andre 3000. Um, Whoa. <laughs> and Mochi's, Invest- yeah, just, Investigate Cat. 